Looking for a light neutral color to complement your contemporary decor? Or maybe you're getting ready to sell and you want a color that'll modernize and open up your home to all of the prospective buyers you're expecting. Then have I got the color for you. I'm James from thepaintpeople.com and this is Color Code, cracking the code on color selection. Last time, we discussed First Light, Benjamin Moore's 2020 Color of the Year. And while that one was an innovative, fun option, sometimes it's better to play it a bit safe. You don't always want your walls to dominate the space. Sometimes you need something that'll keep things light, airy, and open, but still harmonize the various tones already in your house. If you've worked with stagers and real estate agents, you've probably seen that builder's beige being used everywhere. And there was a reason you saw it all over the place, because it worked. It was, for lack of a better word, bland. And it was bland enough that it just managed to blend in and work with the warmer oak and maple floors and a more traditional decor. More and more, however, people are drifting away from beige and switching to grayish. It's basically a mix of gray and beige, if you're not following. And that's where classic gray comes into play. In the confusing world of gray, it's difficult to find the right gray. And I find that classic gray hits a sweet spot that works with a lot of different interiors. It has an undertone of a slightly earthy red taupe, and it does a great job at complementing taupes and grays, as well as your slightly warmer floors. And because of its versatility, you can use classic gray practically everywhere. Its color code is OC23. And if you're familiar with Benjamin Moore colors, OC stands for Off-White Collection. It's technically an off-white, but it's not nearly as white as Cloud White or a Chantilly Lace, for example. It has enough depth that it differs itself from your white trim and your baseboards. On the subject of light colors in general, they do a great job at opening up a space, which makes them a great choice in areas like hallways. But be mindful that if you go too light, you can run the risk of having your walls wash into your woodwork. They'll just kind of blend into each other. Having a bit of contrast, on the other hand, can add some much needed dimension. So if you wanted something close to white on your walls, you may be better off just sticking with white. But for everyone else, if you don't want your walls to look like they've just been freshly primed and not painted, but you still want a color that will act as a neutral canvas, classic gray could be a great choice for you. Now, before you go and grab a pail and just take my advice without doing your own homework, I'd really encourage you to pop into your local Benjamin Moore store, grab some samples of this color, and bring it home with you. Put it on the wall and try it under your specific lighting conditions. Because, as always, the final decision should come down to you and your personal taste. I'm merely a guide. And if you need further guidance, I suggest you check this video out. These videos themselves, they're just tools. Mere tools in your tool belt. I can hook you up, but it's up to you to use them.